Yo. All right, so you guys know that I like DC. Sometimes I love DC, but the reality is sometimes DC kind of pisses me off. So today we're gonna to talk about the things that I actually hate about DC. Let's do it. So we've spent a lot of time talking about the different things that like I really like about DC. I've made a couple videos about it and that's stuff I think you should watch. DC is a fabulous place in a lot of ways, but there are some considerations that you need to have in mind if you're thinking about moving to this area. And so I wanna put that yang with the yang. I wanna let you know what is up on both sides of it. And so I'm gonna label off the seven things that I think are kind of like the most like bah part about living in DC. I grew up loving summer. Like I spent summer outdoors, sailing and swimming and having so much fun. And DC is just not summer. One, the weather is awful. It's like you're walking through wet rags all the time and it's just heavy and hot and you're sweaty. And when you're a dude like me, you're just sweating all the time and it, it makes it kind of gross. The second thing, as the bus is going by me, is traffic. I spend a lot of time in my car. It's literally my job to drive around the city. And so I can tell you firsthand that traffic is awful. DC is ranked to be the second worst pace to be a driver. And I kind of believe it. Now I have a little bit of a cheat code since I drive a Tesla and it kind of drives itself, but it doesn't do it that safely. So I still have to pay attention. And while some areas you talk about how you can get five miles in five minutes, if you want to go five miles in DC, you might take 45 minutes. So you got to plan accordingly. GPS can be your friend. You always want to pull things up on Google Maps, know where you're going before you're going, because that's giving you the real-time traffic updates. Third is the ego everybody has around here. Like I come from like a Midwest background, and so everyone's pretty chill and nice and waves high. There's a lot of people here that have well, one, a lot of them are important. So like, I gotta give them that. But some people are just kind of like self-important too. As much as it's not everyone, it does exist here more than I've seen in other places. In fact, I even feel like our mosquitoes have big egos. Like they are just kind of a nuisance and they're all in your business and they think that they're the number one thing. And sometimes it feels like they actually are. Four, cue the sad music. Don't get too attached to anyone. And I mean mainly your friends. DC is a transient city and it's a lot of government jobs. It's a lot of military stuff. So oftentimes you're gonna make really good friends with people, but then they're gonna move either back home or to a different base or to somewhere else entirely in the world. The cool thing is, is people are always coming and going from wild places like Turkey and England and Canada. And at the end of the day, that's cool when everybody's here, but there's a high susceptibility that people do leave here after a little while but then they come back as well. So you just have to be ready for people to be like coming, going, going, coming. And sometimes it stinks, especially when it's someone that you really, really like. Fifth is package theft. Like I get a lot of stuff sent to me at my house. And while I haven't been subjected to too much of getting my packages stolen, it happens a lot around DC. So you wanna make sure that you have a plan for making sure that your packages actually get to you, whether you send them to a box, a friend, your home, but there's a lot of cool stuff that you get sent and I'd hate to see it go away. Oh, oh, and if you haven't watched that dude, he does the glitter bomb videos for pack stuff. I aspire to do that one day, except I don't have the technical resources or time to really do it, but I dream of a time when I can get someone that steals my package with a glitter bomb. DC is one of the most expensive places you can move to. I made an entire video about how expensive it is. And guess what? It's probably even more expensive since I made that video. Prices seem to go up for literally everything from dog food to houses to ice cream. You name it, the prices have increased. And to be too much, DC was expensive to start with and now we're just more expensive. So you should probably do a cost analysis calculator to see how much stuff costs around here. And like, I think our McDonald's even costs more. So, you know, it's, it's legit. Last and certainly not least, a lot of the houses and a lot of the apartments and a lot of the condos that you're gonna look at in DC lack outdoor green space. So everyone's like, how do I have fun? Where do I take my dog? What do I do? Well, DC's got a lot of parks, like the one we're sitting in right now. There's a lot of opportunity to go have public green space fun where you don't necessarily need that big of a backyard. All right, well, dude, so good to see you guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, you know, if you ever want a coffee, reach out to me. My, all my contact information's below. If you're moving to the area, I'd love to be a resource, so go ahead and reach out. But in the meantime, thanks for joining. Peace.